Hi guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks, and I am back with another video. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and get right into this Lotto mess. So it seems like for the longest, Lotto has been in the media for more drama than she has been for her music. And here recently, it has been no different. So if you guys know, Lotto recently did a billboard interview. And when she talks about a lot of things, one of the things that she discussed was her beef with Nicki Minaj. But she also, in that particular interview, mentioned that she's a girl's girl. She mentioned in the interview that my number one thing has been being a girl's girl. I utilize my power in uplifting others on my way up. That's one of the things that Lotto did mention. She also went on to mention that she does not charge up and coming artists for features. And it looks like this is becoming a trend. Every time Lotto go does an interview, she does seem to put her foot in her mouth. So the fact that she said that she doesn't charge up and coming artists for features, that already had me kind of looking at her crazy because it's like, okay, Lotto, you haven't really made it to a point where you can use that as, you know, leverage or something good just because no one that Lotto has done a feature for, and let's just be honest, I do like Lotto. I'm a fan of her music, but nobody that Lotto has done a feature for, her feature has not elevated their music or helped them to chart. That's just honestly speaking. She did a feature for Chloe. I'm not sure how much she got paid. Chloe's not really up and coming, but the song that she did a feature for with Chloe did absolutely nothing. She's also done a few features for some people that are underground. She did um, her and Glow collab together, and none of those songs have even buzzed. We have not even heard from those songs past, you know, the initial night that they dropped or the initial day that they dropped. So for her to say that she's not charging anyone, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, you shouldn't. Um, but that's just my opinion. Again, everyone knows that I do like Lotto. I love her music. I think she's extremely talented. But that just kind of had me looking at her like, girl, let's be for real here. So Again, every time Lotto goes in and does these interviews, it seems like she kind of puts her foot in her mouth. Last year when she was doing interviews promoting her um, her, her album, she did start a lot of controversy around surrounding male rappers and male rappers um, providing features for her. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys take a listen. They like trying to drop their nuts on me <gasps> because I won't respond to a, a DM. Wow. Yeah. Really? Is it, a, mm -mm. and without saying the name, uh. but is it artist or producer or somebody? Artist. Oh, wow. Artist, yeah. And they'll still be on the album? Yeah, just because I love the song so much and I had to turn it in yesterday, so I didn't really have a choice. So I was like back into it. If you guys remember, Lotto had the entire internet she had the entire general public trying to figure out which male rapper was asking for a feature or a verse in exchange for her time. And people were speculating, but mostly, mostly Kodak Black came up and she never cleared Kodak's name. So it just kind of was an ongoing thing where people thought it was Kodak. Kodak did come out and he and her, and when I say her, I mean Lotto, he and her had words on the internet about it because she never cleared his name. She led the public to believe that it was him and never cleared it up. And it's kind of like, okay, girl, if you're not going to let us know exactly who it was, I would say, let's not even bring this to the internet because this is a strong allegation that's out there. And it's an allegation that we can actually attach to individuals because you said it was a male rapper, a male rapper that's on your album. So all we have to do by the process of elimination is go to your album and say, hey, one, two, three, four, five males. So it has to be one of these guys. And now you've attached a negative stigma on not just the guy who possibly did it, but also all of these other guys that didn't do anything. So it's like, girl, just know sometimes when to say something and when not to say something. Well, fast forward to now, listen, Kodak Black's artist did step forward and she had a lot to say. So let's go ahead and get into her Instagram tirade today. She started by posting to her story. Everybody keep tagging me in this ish. I don't care about no feature from her or nobody else. 
she did do that lame ish though i don't work with new female artists was her exact words that's the real reason she was mad at yak she had to pay for that song on her album because she ain't want to do a song with me so pretty much kodak's artists as well as his manager they're pretty much saying that it had nothing to do with kodak wanting um to give her or provide her a verse in exchange for her time and i'm saying time but we all know what lotto was insinuating they say that it had nothing to do with that it pretty much had to do more or less with kodak saying hey you do a verse for my artist she's up and coming do a verse for her and we call it even i give you a verse lotto got back with him and said she did not want to do that and then from there kodak said he'd still do the verse but he charged her so that's their side of the story and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to what kodak's artist had to say so today. listen it sounds like old girl was getting information third hand she was not privy to the actual conversation between kodak kodak's manager and lotto she only knows what kodak told her and just to confirm that she did go in and it looks like after she posted all of that to her story today and the blogs picked up on it lotto did reach out to her today in her dms and she said you could have just asked me what's up yourself instead of believing what an n-word told you these exchanges didn't come to after a situation you clearly know nothing about i was told to come to his party in order to clear the verse first i said no and then they said a verse for an artist on his label of his choice and i said no my lawyer got the proposal on paper word for word i don't even know you um Codex artist did come back and say, I don't know you either. So why would you expect me to contact you like we cool or something? Cause I'll rip is going to give, I'm trying to check you. My personal experience and the reason why I'm going on with her and Yak is because right wrong, she didn't want to do a song with a female artist. And Yak wanted me to do a song with her. You know what I'm saying? Yak like, okay, I don't want to swap a song with you. With me. You can do a song with a female, female artist. I'm a female she like, okay, I'm going to go do my homework on her or whatever case may be and I'm going to get back at you. When she got back at him, she basically was like, oh, I don't want to do a song with her. I'm saying like, I don't whatever. So it sounds that's like cool you ain't got to know something speaking from uh just as i stated from secondhand information and she didn't have it all and she pretty much said in this dm to Lotto that hey it doesn't matter if you know kodak is right or wrong i'm riding with him regardless and that's exactly what she's doing but the even bigger picture here is Lotto pretty much confirmed that it was kodak that she was talking about because listen she said that i was told to come to his party his meaning Kodak in order to clear the verse first. Now, why would she need to go to a party to clear a verse? So I think there's still a lot surrounding that situation. She was probably, you know, her and Kodak probably had a little more, a little more conversation than that, but she's pretty much given us the gist. She was asked to come to his party in order to clear the verse. And I don't understand why she would need to go to his party in order to get a verse cleared. So, you know, that's my take on the situation. You know, my take is number one, Lotto finally did admit that it was Kodak and that's probably probably why she never cleared his name. Number two, this artist came out and spoke because she was salty that Lotto did not, um, did not want to work with her because she feels like they are from Atlanta and Lotto should have been jumping over hurdles in order to work with her. And she also took secondhand information, brought it to the internet as truth when she absolutely did not know whether it was true or not that's my take you guys let me know what you think about the situation let me know if you think that lotto is wrong let me know if you think that lotto kind of gabs a little too much because i think deep down i think that she does bring a little bit uh too much to her interviews if you're not going to give us uh, the full details because then what you do is you leave the public to kind of speculate and point fingers at people and then you kind of bring them into a situation where they shouldn't have even been in because although a lot of people just automatically assumed it was kodak you had some people pointing a finger at Lil Wayne and he had nothing to do with this. So I think that if you're not going to give us the full details in instances like this, don't even bring it to the internet. That's a huge allegation. You don't just leave it out there. But that's my opinion. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.